Miranda Cosgrove was America's TV sweetheart. Starring in movies like School of Rock and the Despicable Me movies, and shows like Drake and Josh and iCarly. She's even left her mark on one of the most talked about animated movie franchises, Despicable Me, starring Steve Carell. Not only has she been a rising star in movies and shows, she's also been known to be a high profile advocate for marine life conservation, even taking the discussion to as far as Capitol Hill. So, with a Hollywood resume like Cosgrove's, it's very peculiar to see that no one in the movie industry will cast her now and a lot of her fans, past and present, might be wondering why that is. Did she do something wrong? Has she had a slew of movie bombs and low-rated shows right after she left Nickelodeon? Seriously, what has she done to garner such ignorance from the film industry? Well, you're in luck, because we're wondering the same thing too. Why won't Hollywood cast Miranda Cosgrove? Today we'll be looking at some of the reasons why Hollywood won't cast Miranda Cosgrove. Whether it's having second thoughts on acting, or she hasn't found that one thing that can make her as successful as she was in the past. Whatever the case may be, we're here to decipher this mystery once and for all. And don't forget to stay tuned until the end to find out what reason made our top spot on this list. And as always, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. So without further ado, let's get started. First up at number 5, Miranda's Choice of Schooling. Miranda has always been that kid that got the privilege of being homeschooled for much of her school years so it wasn't surprising that she wanted to enroll in a college or university, once the time was right. Of course, she had to wait until iCarly was over in order to make time to go to university. That's understandable because, again, she was waiting for the right time to do so. In 2012, Miranda would go on to study film at the University of California. For a while, that seemed to suit her until she decided to switch majors. In a 2017 interview on Kelly and Ryan, she admitted to the talk show hosts that she had switched from majoring in film to majoring in psychology, an interesting subject in our opinion. And although this change hasn't made her think twice about being in the film industry, this has definitely showed fans that Miranda is willing to explore different avenues besides film. Up at number 4, her music. Now, Miranda has had her own jewel in the music industry, however much of her music was either a hit or miss regardless of what her most loyal fans will tell you. First, Miranda had a time where she put out hits like 2009's About You Now, 2010's Kissing You, and 2010's album Sparks Fly, all of which had spent time on the Billboard charts. So you might be thinking, man, her music sounds awesome. Sounds like a promising avenue for Miranda. She should put out more music and go on from there. Well, as much as we wanted her to put out more music, that avenue would eventually lead to a dead end. Now, as much as her music was deemed serviceable to both fans and critics, however, her music wouldn't be on the Billboard charts for too long, either staying on there for about a week or less until beaten off the charts by hit songs from other artists. Besides, poor Miranda just couldn't compete with her Disney counterparts like Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez, and Demi Lovato. So by the time 2012 had come around, she would cease making music and go on tours to promote her music. Long story short, she tried the music route but just couldn't make music that would stick. Nice try though, Miranda. So, like what you see so far? Then leave us a like on the video and subscribe. But we're not done yet. Stay tuned to find out what reason makes it to number one. Coming in at number three, the tragic tour bus incident. At age 18, Miranda was witness to her music career being cut short, and fans were quick to wondering why she had quit music. How did it happen? It turns out that her tour bus was involved in a crash with a semi-truck, which had resulted in her breaking an ankle. With her injuries wounding her physically and mentally, she was forced to cancel her five remaining tour dates, much to the dismay of the people who had bought tickets to those shows. Although she was scarred by the incident, she wasn't about to let the people responsible get away with such recklessness. Miranda, along with her mother, would then sue her former tour bus driver, a semi-truck driver, and both transportation companies about two years later for over two and a half million dollars in lost ticket sales and promotions according to TMZ. She also claimed that her medical bills had added up to over $184,000. However, the truck driver would go on to say that the star exaggerated the extent of her medical expenses just to get him to pay up. The driver even went as far as insulting the star's math skills, saying that the expenses weren't calculated properly. Miranda later reported that the incident had left her and her mother, quote, disfigured and disabled, and they lost their normal lives. She then told TMZ that it was a, quote, virtual career collapse. Up at number two, the talks of making a comeback. Don't hold your breath. Miranda may say that she's working on a project, but in actuality, she's working on numerous projects, all with no set dates yet. Not that there's a problem with that, Miranda, but when you have concerned fans rooting for your return, you would have to at least make an attempt at putting something out, or make it clear that you're retiring from the business. 
Either way, fans will and should understand. Anyway, with all her projects not being set in stone, this has generated online fan-made theories on what Miranda will do moving forward. With some asking, why did Miranda Cosgrove disappear? Was iCarly canceled? Or referring to articles like the one of Amo Mama that's entitled, The Foggy Future of Miranda Cosgrove. Needless to say, fans are wondering whether or not Miranda will rise back to fame like in her Nickelodeon years. Fortunately, she has one or two alternatives that she can always lay back on. For example, her role as Margot from the Despicable Me franchise has given her a safety net for the time being. However, fans hope for a comeback from this actress. So now that we've delved into Miranda Cosgrove's career as far as being in showbiz and being in the music industry for a short time, now it's time to find out the real reason why Hollywood won't cast her. So what is the number one reason that Hollywood won't cast Miranda Cosgrove? Here's a hint, let's just say that we all make mistakes and that life doesn't turn out the way that we want them to. And the same is true for Miranda Cosgrove. Stay tuned and find out. And the number one reason Hollywood won't cast Miranda Cosgrove is her post-Nickelodeon flops. Miranda has had her fair share of show and movie flops. In 2013, she was in the pilot episode of Girlfriend in a Coma. By the way, does anyone remember that show? No? Neither do we, sadly. The show may have had an interesting premise, with Miranda starring as the 17-year-old daughter of a woman who wakes from a coma after almost two decades. Unfortunately, the show wasn't picked up since the lead actress had left the show after a table read, meaning that the show only lasted for one episode. In 2015, Miranda landed a role in the movie called The Intruders. The film revolves around a teenager desperate in finding out the dark secrets of her home after the loss of her mother, despite her father's disbelief in the whole notion. However, the movie did so poorly in the box office that it garnered a 21% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes and was bashed by critics for being a failed attempt of a psychological horror film. In 2016, Miranda was finally able to land a role in the NBC show Crowded, which centered around a couple, now in their middle ages, dealing with both of their adult daughters moving back in with them. Sounds like a good scenario for a funny sitcom, right? However, the show only lasted for one season and was immediately cut due to poor ratings and scathing reviews. So what other film project is Miranda actually good at, besides her Nickelodeon stardom? And what franchise would keep her on the Hollywood map? The answer? Despicable Me. Yes, Miranda is lucky to be in a successful franchise like Despicable Me. However, it's unclear whether or not she'll put out any more good films or shows in the foreseeable future. Will she star in another hit franchise? Will she find the right TV show to be in? One just as good as iCarly? Or will she finally quit showbiz and go down a different career path? Regardless of the reasons suggested on this list, the story of Miranda Cosgrove and her film career has yet to have a feasible end, whereas some sources may suggest otherwise. While her former co-stars and co-workers would go on to other projects, it seems that Miranda might be distancing herself from filmmaking or wanting to come back to showbiz but not sure how. Therefore, Miranda Cosgrove is a perfect example of how some child actors can be handed the spotlight at first, but then not be told on what to do with that spotlight in their grown-up years. Miranda is also a good example of someone having talent in multiple avenues and not fully understanding how to incorporate all said talents into one that will ensure her visibility in the Hollywood scene. Needless to say, we may never know what Miranda will do next. So what do you think of Miranda Cosgrove? Do you think she'll make a comeback in the future? Whether it's on TV or in theaters? Or will she move on to something else outside of filmmaking? Let us know what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video.